Hello again, this is Chris Russo with 123soulcash.com. We buy houses cash and as is condition and closing on the date of your choice. We buy single family, duplexes, triplexes, fourplexes, small commercial, even condos and townhouses. Let me talk about the uh, lead that I received probably was like a month ago, well, before the, um, last year. Uh, she gave me a call and she said, hey, Chris, I want a summer house. I want a quote. I gave her a quote and it said, okay, I'll let you know. But this, this house, had, I, she has a, this is a long story and you need a lot of patience. And I don't think most of the people or any investor would have enough patience with this lady. Apparently, um, she, she's like 69, uh, 69, 70 years old. Uh, she used to run marathons. She was in the greatest of health. What happened one day, she was painting um, and she fell off a ladder and now she's, um, she really feels the pain. She's old. She thinks she's dying. I don't know if it's true or not. And she has a daughter. So she, and this property is located in West Palm Beach. And she said, hey, Chris, um, I was wondering if you can give me a quote. This and I gave her the quote, but she's really like um, defensive. She said, well, you know, I don't want to sell it just in case something happens. I want my daughter to... to um, to acquire the property and then she can sell it. So I'm just, I'm the type of person, she says she's the type of person who gets all her affairs in order. So she's taking care of her insurance, her life insurance. She even put the property in a trust to avoid probate. So uh, that's another day, another subject. So basically, I'm, again, I'm not an attorney, but from my experience, if you wanna um, avoid probate, which could be in the thousands and it can take months to do, you put the property in a trust and if something happens and you can make your, your, your children the trustee and they're able to sell the property the next day. So, you know, that's the best way to avoid probate. Again, I'm not an attorney. If you want to get more information on that, you can speak to your local attorney. So anyway, she even put it in a trust. <coughs> I go, that was pretty smart of you. And she said, yes. And she took an insurance. Now she has an issue. This is funny. Well, actually it's not funny because I, I believe she is dying, but she has 11 cats. And her whole, I go, well, why don't you sell the property now, put the money in the bank? He goes, no, because I have nowhere to put the cats. She has 11 cats, and I think one or two of them is not eating anymore, and they're dying also. She refused to sell the house because she knows that the cats, the that, they're either going to put them in um, one of these places where, um, you know, I don't know where they put the cats, and they either kill them or or they put them in a, um, I don't know, one of these homes and she refused, she really a cat lover. So her main thing is to live there and she told me the other day, so Chris, I can live, my pressure's up, I can live until tomorrow, the next day, I can live a month or two months. So what happened is, uh, now it's January, and she called me the other day, hey, Happy New Year, I said, Happy New Year to you. <clears throat> and Chris, is your offer still good? I go, yes, can you update the offer? I looked at it and I think it was 275. But can you pay the closing costs? Sure, I'll pay the closing costs. <clears throat> All right, can you send it to me? And I'm going to forward it to my daughter. And I'm going to give you my daughter's phone number, but please do not call her. In fact, she said, if you call me and I don't answer, you call me a few times, that means I'm deceased. Which is like, okay. Um, so I put in my notes not to call the daughter. So the other day, I sent it to her. She received it. She sent it to the daughter with my contact information. God forbid something happens to her she's going to um, have her daughter call me and the daughter's gonna sell the property. So as you can see, there's always different types of situations. I hope she lives to like 50, 100 years you know, from now. And you never know, maybe in her mind she thinks she's dying, but she's not, I don't know. So all I could do is help her out. I told be positive, you're gonna do fine, you're gonna live for a long time, see what happens. But she wanted an offer, so I'll give her an offer. And I wrote in the notes not to call the daughter and to respect her wishes. So anyway, that was the situation. And as you can see, I'm kind of like a problem solver and I don't mind helping people, I feel good. So she's kind of my, like my friend now. I read, she said, Chris, you can call me, but don't bother me. So I, I put in my tickler file to call her every six weeks. And um, that's the situation with this one. There's always something new, looking forward to the new uh, situation that's coming across my desk. You never know, it could be today, it could be a couple hours, it could be a week from now. So anyway, that's the situation. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.